Hello guys and welcome back to my... Well, that was weird. I came out over here. Well, welcome to my uh, Let's Play, episode 18. And today I'm actually going to take a break from Thomcraft. And uh, make some new things. You see coming down over here? I replaced all my uh, carrots and my potatoes with uh, wheat. Because I'm actually running low on wheat, surprisingly en enough. And, uh, I already had, you know, a stack full of, uh, you know, carrots and potatoes. I had a whole seed bag full of them. So, I changed that up, and then there are a few other changes that I made to this house. Can you guys tell? Well, I did make a, another book, one to the nether hold, and then one to the nether, so I don't have to walk all the way over there to, to a portal to to teleport, you know, to the nether. I can just right click here. But you guys might have noticed I got rid of my engines. Uh oh. Yep, this is another upgrade episode. As you can see, I made myself a little basement. It's gonna be my power room. Yep, my power room. And instead of going using those slow, slow steam engines to power this baby up, because it takes forever, I'm actually going to make magmatic engines that run off of lava. Kind of like what our geothermal generator does for IC2, you know, power generation. So, let's get started. Now before I make my engines, I'm going to need a some sort of a thing that'll uh, you know, store the lava. So I'm going to make a, a giant railcraft tank underneath the floor right here. And uh make a iron tank from Railcraft, uh, I'm actually going to need a rolling machine. This little baby, made with four pistons, four iron, and a crafting table. Neat. Now this thing runs off of a uh, buildcraft power, so I'm just going to lay it down over here. And it should start getting power. Or does it? I don't think it will, because this one's set to output power. So... I'm actually going to need to place it, let's place it right over here, right here. This seems good. She's going to need one of these. It's right there. Roll the machine like so. It should be getting power. Yep. Got all that power. Now I'm going to throw my packager. Right up here like that. So to make these iron tanks, I'm actually going to need to make iron tank walls. And to make iron tank walls, I'm going to need some iron plates. And to make those iron plates, I use iron, of course. So I think I do it something like that. Yep. I'm going to need a bunch of these. So in fact, what I'm going to do... Do something like that. And then I'm just going to let them run by themselves. Like that. And see how much we get. And hopefully it'll be enough. Now there are a few other things I'm going to need before I go into my into the nether to get lava. Yep, I'm going to use uh, uh, the nether to get our uh, lava. And in fact, I actually forgot to make two really important things, and I don't know if I have got the blaze rods to make them. No, I do not have any blaze rods. Well, that is very unfortunate. So I'm actually going to go and get some blaze rods with my... Oh, nope, I have it here in my inventory. I'm going to actually get a blaze spawner for my soul shards. However, it only works in the nether currently. So... Then I guess I'll show you guys the, uh, what I, uh, built here. As you can see, this was the, uh, portal home. And the nether hold was way over there. Went and made this, uh, cobblestone structure which goes out to this lava lake down there, as you can see. 
And then I put glass in here for, you know, the uh, the view, should I say. And I'm actually going to place a slow shard in here. And hopefully not die. I'm actually going to need to get some blaze rods from these guys. Not a whole lot, but just a few. Five. Gonna need more. Gonna need, I think, two more. Ouch. Oop. And that's enough. Well, that's weird. Went all the way back down to 256. Well, that's very unfortunate. So I lost some blazes there in the process, but that's okay. Seems a little glitch there. And we're going to transport back home. The only problem with Mistcraft is that sometimes it'll get rid of my skin. Okay. Throw this shards of aluminium. Now, how am I going to transport lava in between dimensions? Well, I am going to need some obsidian. And a couple chests. So, a couple chests coming right up. I'm also going to need some ender pearls. Ender pearls, where are you? A couple of them, and I think I had some wool flying around here. Yeah. If I can remember the recipe. That's right, I'm making myself some ender chests. Now, these aren't regular vanilla ender chests. I have to put them up. There we go. Yep. Okay. So I got everything. Ender pearls right there. Wool right there. Obsidian on the sides and lots of blaze rods. Get ourselves two ender chests. Nice. Let's throw uh, our obsidian back over here. And then our blaze rods. Sweet. The cool thing about these ender chests is that they work interdimensionally. So I put an ender chest right here, another ender chest right here. As you can see, they're much different than uh, the ender chests from uh, vanilla Minecraft. Now if I right click with these, it opened up both of them. See that? They're both connected. So if I go over here, throw in some dirt right there, and that little slot right there, Come back over here. There it is. Because they're both connected. And the cool thing about these ender chests is that they're color-coded. See, this one is white, white, white. So now if I go and get some uh, dye over here, let's go get some red dye. Or yellow dye. Why not? Uh, yeah. Get ourselves six. So now if I go and dye this uh, middle one right here yellow, that one doesn't open. I'm going to throw this dye in here. I go over here. They're separate. As you can see. So you can actually have 16 times 16 times 16 different combinations, which is a lot of colors. I'm just going to make this all the way yellow. As you can see, they're both connected again. And I'm going to use these ender chests to uh, pump a... Uh, you can see... Oh, they're kind of hard to break because they're made of obsidian. <laughs> they're, uh, I'm going to use these ender chests to pump uh, lava in between these two dimensions. Now first, I'm going to need some of these. And I'm going to use these liquid transporters or transposers to... Uh, to fill and take out lava from these cans in between dimensions. Now I've got a bunch of uh, stuff that I want to, you know, touch upon here on in a related to buildcraft. So I'm gonna use buildcraft to pump a uh, lava out of the Nether, and to do that, I'm gonna need some of these gears. And with these gears, uh, I need to upgrade them to iron. 
So you have to start here at the uh, lower level and work your way up to get to the better gears to make what I'm needing to make. Because the thing that I need right now is a iron gear to complete this recipe. So I have to take a wooden gear, put cobble, get ourselves a stone, and then upgrade it to iron. Then we take a iron pickaxe, some iron, like so, and a piece of redstone. We get ourselves a mining well. Now this thing is an automatic mining uh, device, and if you put it, you know, like let's say at the surface in a chest and power it with built craft power, it'll dig straight down. But it's only a one block radius, so it's not very, you know, useful. But if you had like a bunch of these all powered, all you know, pumping out to like a, a chest or something, then yeah, they can be really useful. However, I'm going to actually upgrade it into a pump. Now to get a pump, we take uh, some glass like so, get ourselves a tank. And then we just, now this tank can actually hold buckets, I think like 10 or so buckets of water, lava, or anything else. But I'm not going to use this tank to store my liquids, I'm going to use an iron tank. And I'll get into that, into more of that later. But I'm actually going to upgrade this mining well into a pump. Now I'm also going to need to power this pump to pick up the lava. And to do so, I'm going to use redstone engines. Oh, my golems are kind of annoying. And to get some redstone engines, just like all the other engine recipes, we take a piston, some gears, a piece of glass, and then whatever it's made out of. Like, for instance, wood. Get ourselves four redstone engines. Now these four redstone engines, which I'll always leave on, they don't explode, as long as they've got some kind of work to do, will power this pump to pick up all the lava that I ever need. Ever, practically. Now, I'm also going to need to have some engines to run off that uh, lava power. And to do so, I'm going I'm to need some magmatic engines, which is from a thermal expansion. And they require ten gears, as you can see over here. So I'm going to need some redstone transmission coils, which is made so kind of like those gold transmission coils. But instead of gold, it's silver here. Get ourselves four of those. Wait. Four, four of those, or eight of those, really. And then ten up here. Get ourselves four magmatic engines. Sweet. Now that's the thing that's going to keep everything powered. I'm actually going to throw my engines right here like that. And I do not have my crescent wrench. Why do I not have my crescent wrench? Oh. I also put this in the wrong chest. You go right here. Like so. Okay. Crescent wrench, or crescent hammer. Rotate these guys so they're facing that way, and then they'll output power. Like so. It's like that one will input. Okay. Now those are all rotated the right way. Let's head off to the nether. Get ourselves, our get our pump going. Let's see how our rolling machine is doing, actually. Ooh, it's pretty much already done. I think that's enough plates. I think I might need more, but, uh... You know, since this, that's already done, let's go get our tank going. So, I'm actually gonna get some ladders. Because this, uh, this iron tank is a multi-block structure. Uh, Railcraft likes to use multi-block structures. So, some of this... Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Wait. Some ladders to get up and out of this thing. I like ran into some monazite. Cool. Fill that back up. Let's see. This is going to be a 3x3x5. Three by three by so there's 1, 2, 3. I'm going to need to dig down 2 more. Like so. It's funny. The ladders will uh, pick up the uh, objects and 
force it back up. Okay, now to make this iron tank wall, really simple. I'm actually gonna get some iron plates, like so. Get ourselves some iron tank wall. Get myself that much. Sorry about that. Put our iron tank walls like this. Got half nine down here at the bottom. Iron tank walls here on the sides. Like so. Oh, gonna need more of these. Definitely gonna need more of these. I'm also gonna have them here at the top. Like so. Now the cool thing about these tanks is that our iron tank frame is done. And you could actually put a... anything else that you want here. There there are different types of uh, tank walls, should I say. You can have uh, you can have gauges, which are these glass, and you can actually see, insi see inside of the tank. Or you can uh, have some uh, valves, which is what we're also going to make. And to do that, I think I need some iron bars. Which I might actually have some of. Nope. Iron bars. Picks. Get some iron bars, and then I'm also going to need a lever, too. Inventory's already getting full. Okay. Take our four iron tank walls like so. Just like that, and we get ourselves four iron tank valves. Probably not going to need that many. And then I'm also going to show you the recipe for... Oh, I did that one wrong. There we go. Throw that in there, throw that in there. I think I got some glass panes. Now these will give you the, the glass... the gauges. See? Just wanted to show you the recipe for it. What we really just need is these iron tank walls, because... And then some valves. Might actually need more. Right, there we go. Three you, three you. Ooh. Oh. Nope, just enough. Sweet. Get some of you. I'm actually going to get these iron tank valves. One for an input, which I'm going to have right here. Like so. And one is the output. Sweet. So now if I right click on it, it's iron tank and it holds. 720 buckets of lava. I think that's enough lava to last us quite a while. Now, I'm also going to need to make a system to pump out. We might not be able to do this in one episode, but I can get it, you know, going right now. Well, let's go ahead to the Nether and get our pump system going. I have one mag mag ma magmatic engine to uh, power one of our transposers that we're going to put there. Throw this stuff in here. Don't need my ladders. And we're good. Should be. In fact, I might actually just leave one of these and one of these here. Onwards to the nether. Uh, looks over here. To the nether. Ooh. Spooky. Okay. Let's go and place our pump. Like so. You can't really see it. But if I were to break some of this.
you would see a arm going straight down and then it's going to start pumping up the lava once we power it. And to power it, we're going to get some redstone engines. Like so. And I'm also going to put some cobblestone like so. Actually, I just need... Whoop. I just need the one. Mm, how do I want to do this? I know there's a way you can do this. Ah, that's why I needed this one here. So we're going to use this redstone torch to power those two, and then this redstone torch to power those two. There we go. We should start getting some lava, but currently it has nowhere to go. In fact, I might want to move this. I'm going to change out the layout. Yeah, I'm going to change out the layout. Look at me being indecisive. Uh oh. I think I just lost a redstone engine. Ah, that's okay. Gotta be careful with these. That's not very good. Did I lose anything else? Nope. Okay. Gotta be careful, especially with the lava. I'm actually going to have it like so. Don't know why I did it that way. Redstone like that. And then I'll make myself another redstone engine. Don't worry. And I'm going to have this pump pump out like so. You can see it's already starting to fill with lava into this liquid transposer which I actually want to break this first hmm yeah I'm gonna have it like so liquids gonna flow into the blue side and disable that and then it's gonna yes then it's gonna uh, And it's going to output to the red side. I might actually need to put a blue one up here on top, maybe, and on the bottom. I have something like that. And then I'm also going to have another pipe right back here. And this will, will be used to power it. You can see we're not getting a whole lot of lava. But we are getting some. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now you can see it started to run, it started to use up some of the power, and then it's going to can these, uh, these uh, cans and turn them into lava, into the lava containers, or lava cans, really. And then this internal buffer is going to fill up with some lava, and then its internal buffer will fill up. And the cool thing about these uh, magmatic engines is that they, uh, they're they smart enough to uh, limit their power if they've got nowhere for the power to go, which is nice. Now I'm also going to need some stone transport pipes, unfortunately. Or should I say transport pipes. I'm actually going to use gold because they're faster. But I'm also going to need a wooden one, too, to pump stuff out. I think I have some wooden ones. Yep. And then some glass. I like so. Back to the nether. Lag lag. I'm also going to need a chunk loader here. Hmm. Uh, that'll be a problem. Going to need to make myself another chunk loader. I don't think I've got the diamonds for it, but... If this area was chunk loaded, it wouldn't, uh... You know. 
it wouldn't unload whenever I go back. So if I had this area chunk loaded, it would always continuously give me lava. So I'm going to place down my uh, chest. Uh, let's put it right over here for now. Put some gold pipe like so. Now it, sh now it should, yep, start sending that lava, those lava cans, straight into this chest. You can see we've already got four. Now with this, I think this little setup is done. I'm also going to have to set up a system that will pull out uh, empty cans and put them back in. And I might actually need to rotate this to be facing that way. And then this, this side will be the input. Yeah, just like that. And I can have this back be something too. I can be the, have this back be an input too. So that way I can pump stuff out of it this way and send it this way. Yeah, now that, now that'd be neat. As you can see, this has given us four Minecraft jewels. And it's already filled up this. Once it starts building up a lot of energy, it'll actually start uh, limiting its power output until it's almost until it's zero, which is good. You can see these redstone engines take a little while for them to heat up, but once they heat up, a lot of lava will start flowing in, lots of lava. You can see we're using a lot of lava here in this magmatic engine as well. But back. Probably in between this episode and next, I'll get myself a chunk loader. Now, this setup down here... Oh. I already forgot that I already put up these blocks. Okay. Now with this setup, I'm actually going to need... The ender chest, like I don't know. Hmm. Where do I want it? Right here. I think that'll be good. I'm also gonna need more of those redstone energy things. I think I've got a couple left. Got like three or so, or two. Hopefully that'll be enough. If not, then. Yeah, it won't be enough. But I have it go over here. Actually, I need to get myself some more of this stuff. Oh well. It'll be messy for, you know, this episode, but then I'll clean it up later. You know, once I got the resources. I thought I had enough resources, but I guess not. Have our this like that. Now this one will be set on the other mode. And then it'll pump stuff out from the back. And these sides need to be switched. Blue. Then red. Actually I might have the red one be out here. It'll come, you know, out and then go back into the chest underground. So then we'll have some pipe going like so. Hmm. Like I said, I'll fix this up later. It might not make much sense now. If I do it this way. Oh, now I know why. Because of these ladders. Oh no, I dig myself into a hole. What do I do? Pull her back out. That dirt will just have to stay down there. Alright, I can grab it. Pipes like so. Oh, I just heard a wisp. And pipes like so. Now that should work. 
In fact, I might actually need a wooden one here. Let's see, for now, I'm going to, uh, have my pipes like so. So that I won't actually flow into the tank currently, as this is just for testing. So, if I were to pump these out, I actually need myself another redstone engine. But what's going to happen, in between this episode and next, I'm going to fill out the rest of this, because this episode's getting kind of long. What's going to happen is that this chest is going to pump out the lava cans directly into here. I'm actually going to need to get some power going. Like so. Oh wait. Glitchy pipes. Going to assimilate this. And this should start getting power. Yep. Well, it's also going to be charging this thing. Very slowly, at first. But what's going to happen is that the lava cans are going to come in here, like so. It's going to start using up some power, and then it's going to output this lava, and it's going give to me, give me my can back, like so. Here you can see the lava comes out, and what it'll actually do is go inside this tank, which will then output to the engines. And then I can also have this... Uh, this tank also output to other machines that might require lava later. That way you can have this huge surplus of lava. And then this aluminum can will be taken out and placed back inside this chest. Where then it'll be pumped out. It'll go and get filled up with more lava and then come back here. So, unfortunately, I have to sign off. It's, it's that uh, wrapping up point. In between this episode and next, I'm going to get every, get it all organized and working right. And, uh, yes, so this is uh, Lunchbox, and I'm signing off. Adios, and good night.